we spend some time with a humble cocoa, we're going to feast on sumptuous, divine, decadent chocolate. And to help me do that is my friend and chocolate aficionado, Desiree Batiste. Hi, Des. Um, how are you doing? I'm fine, how are you? I'm good, thank you very much. I'm very excited about what we're going to be making today. So tell us about what we're doing. Okay, today we're going to make a chocolate log, which right. is a fantastic dessert. This is a show winner at a dinner party. Um, we're going to start by switching our oven on to the right temperature, which is 200 degrees centigrade. Okay, let me put it on 400 okay. Fahrenheit. We have a 200. 200 degrees centigrade. All right, okay. While we're getting the oven nice and hot, we'll prepare the baking tray. Okay, I'm going to fold the wax paper to fit the shape of the baking tray. All right. Don't worry too much about the sticking up edges. Right, okay. It's not going to get in our way. Okay, and now to line the wax paper, I'm going to use a very simple oil spray. Right. On top of the oil goes some flour. Right. Shift that around. Okay. And then on top of that, some caster sugar. Right, caster. It's just a basic way of lining the cake tin so the cake doesn't stick. Right. Very right. easy. Okay, so we'll set that aside for now. Okay, next we're going to melt the chocolate. Right. Here we have two bars, 100 grams each, of very dark bittersweet chocolate. This is real connoisseur's chocolate. Why do you need to use, what's the difference between 70% chocolate and, and regular chocolate? Um, you want something with a high cocoa content and the cocoa content indicates the cocoa solids as well as the cocoa butter. Right. Cocoa butter is important, it gives it a nice soft melting texture. Um, but it's just really for flavour. The more cocoa, the better the flavour. It's that okay. simple. All right. What we're going to do is we're going to break this up into even sized pieces. And well, when you've got a chocolate that looks like this, it's quite easy. It's quite you just easy. break them up into along the lines. Yeah. All right. The melting of the chocolate is a delicate thing and you just want every piece of chocolate to be even sized so all they right. all melt at exactly the same temperature. Okay. And we're going to use something called a double boiler or bain-marie to melt. I know that our um, audience has been introduced to the bain-marie several oh, okay. times, my dad. Okay. So I'm just going <laughs> to take this over. Okay. Right. While you're melting the chocolate, I'm going to go into whisking the yolks, the egg yolks, right. which we're going to whisk with sugar. Okay. We have five egg yolks. Okay. They've been separated already. And into that, five ounces of caster sugar. And here we have about how much water? 85 milliliters. 85 milliliters of water. Is it important that I stir this a lot or? You can, yeah, you can stir it. Okay. Are you trying to get those yolks all kind of white almost? Yeah, I'm trying to get them to a mousse-like texture. Right, okay. This chocolate smells absolutely fantastic and rich and dark. Okay, so this is melted. What shall I do with this now? Straight away and just set it aside to cool. Right, okay. Cool. Cool. <laughs> What sugar did you use in there? I used caster sugar. Right, okay. And as you can see now, it's almost fully blended. It's a very pale yellow colour. Right. We're okay. going to give it another maybe half a minute of whisking and then we're ready to go. Okay, okay that's done. All right. Get rid of that. Okay. Sink. All right. Bowl. <laughs> okay, now here we have our yolks and sugar mixed together. Right. It's a nice pale yellow colour. Mm -hmm. So those are ready. And I'm just going to set those aside, and then we'll start whisking our egg whites. All right, okay. I'll leave that aside for now. Okay. Just going to check on our chocolate and see if it's cooled down. Okay. Um, shall I just put these egg whites yeah. on to whisk then? Okay, cool though. Okay. Right. Did you see what you wanted? How about chocolate? Yeah, I'm going to pour the chocolate into a nice clean bowl. Right. So it cools down quicker. Right. Is that really all the chocolate we need for the cake? Yep. It doesn't look like an awful lot. It doesn't lot. look like much, but it's really, really full of flavour, so you won't need any more than this. Right. You can smell it, can't you? I can smell it. It is. <laughs> Gorgeous, yes. 
This is actually the most difficult part of making this cake because this is a point where you have to restrain yourself from eating all the chocolate. <laughs> I mean, that's the most difficult part of eating the cake. Of making the making cake. Making the cake? Because you might never get it made. If yeah. it's <laughs> well, I like the sound of that. Mm. So I want to check this out. And cool down a little bit more. <laughs> Do we actually want our okay, egg want whites to keep, whisk? Um, the egg whites until they are stiff. Right. So you're gonna, you'll see that they'll become very um, frothy and a lot of air in there will make it expand. So you're gonna okay. put a lot of egg whites there. Right. Okay. And this was five egg whites, right? Yeah. Five so egg whites. So this is basically five eggs separated. Exactly. Right. Okay. So five yolks for the first part of the mixture and five, five egg, egg whites for the okay. second part of the mixture. Cool. How are we looking there? Let's have a look. How's that looking to you? Is that no, we could go a little bit further a little more. Than that. Yeah. So, so okay, right? Right. Okay. Now you were telling me that it's important that you have the eggs at room temperature when you're dealing with them. Yeah, you don't want your eggs to be too cold because right. when you mix your egg yolks with the sugar, if they're too cold, they're going to crystallize the sugar. Right. So that's okay. the main reason. Ah, right, okay. Alright, how are we looking here? We're looking ready. How do you know what I'm looking for? Take a little teaspoon, actually, uh -huh. right. for the tester. And then... You pick up some of your egg whites. Okay. If you can not drop it back down, then they're ready. See, so I told you they were ready. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> So. Okay, Mariel, so the chocolate is cooled down now mm -hmm. and we're ready to enter the final stages of mixing our cake before it goes into the oven. Right. Enter the final stages. Final stages. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so we have our chocolate, which is gorgeous and melted and cooled down. We have our egg whites, which are right. beaten till stiff, and we have our egg yolk mixture. Right. What we're going to do is we're going to pour this lovely chocolate into the yolks. Right. Should I stir this? Yeah. Okay. Oh, that is beautiful. We're going to stir that until it's completely mixed. Until the streaks. Mixed. The streaking. No streaks. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, wow, that looks gorgeous. No streaking. Okay. You get that off of me. Okay. You want me to get that off for you? Okay. You don't want to just go. <laughs> <laughs> resist, Marielle, resist. I'll try. The cake okay. will never get this made if we succumb now. This is good chocolate. It is good for you. Yeah, it is good Dark for you, Dark chocolate is good for you. It's better for you than wine. And wine is good for you, so it can't be bad. Can't be bad at all. Okay, there you go. Okay. okay so now we have our chocolate mixed into our yolks. Mm -hmm. And the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fold the egg whites into this mixture. Okay, let's get rid of this. And we're going to use a nice, clean, <laughs> shiny... You keep having your chocolate. Do you understand how hard it is for me to... <gasps> oh! Okay. We're going to start with a little bit of the egg whites first. Right, okay. And we're going to mix it in just to loosen the mixture. Because as you can see, this chocolate mixture is really, really okay. thick and yeah. impossible to stir properly yeah. or fold or do anything with it. So the first set of egg whites that go in are just going to loosen the mixture. All right. Okay, and once we've done that, we could basically pour the entire lot of egg whites in. Okay, so just drop all the egg whites the in. in. Yeah. Okay. And I'm going to fold them in. And by folding, I mean just yeah. instead of mixing, because we don't want to lose the air that's trapped into the egg white mixture, because that's what's going to make our cake rise. Right. This is a cake with no baking powder or any kind of raising agent. It's relying completely. And no flour. I have no to flour tell you, either. this cake has no flour. This what is a cake flourless has no flour. chocolate cake. Wow, Zaz. So the air, the air in the beaten egg whites is what's going to make this cake rise in the oven. Right. So we're going to gently fold those egg whites into the mixture, just cutting and lifting. Right. And at what point do you know that you've kind of completely sort of combined it properly? I always when, when it looks fairly well mixed, I mean, you might still see the odd little lump of, of white in there, just small ones, but those are just air pockets. Right, okay. But so you'll know because it just will look completely mixed. 
Is it the end of the world, like, you know, if you're making a souffle or something like that, is it the end of the world if you don't have your egg whites completely thoroughly combined? No, it's not, because it'll all even out in the oven anyway. All right, so it's okay. not the end of the world. So tell me, how do you know so much about chocolate? Um, I spent two years working for Valrona, which is one of the top French chocolate houses in right. Europe. Right. And doing their PR and marketing. So I just learned a lot right. just out of that job. I also trained as a cook and worked in um, restaurants in the pastry section. Right. So again, from a more hands-on point of view, I learned about chocolate that way as well. Right. Okay, this is just about ready. So we'll get our cake tin, which we prepared earlier. Right, okay. Whoops. <laughs> Try not to sprinkle it all off. Right. Okay. And then I'm just going to pour all of this stuff into our cake tin. Spatula? Yeah. I have this. I, let me give you one. Oh no, I've got this gigantic one here which you can have if you want. Okay. I'll tell you what, if you scrape the bowl, right. I'll get what's left off of the spoon. <laughs> okay. Right, let's get the spatula in there. Woo -hoo -hoo. Okay. So we'll just smooth that down a little bit. Right. And enter the oven. Okay. So it's 12 minutes, 12 on, minutes on 200 four. degrees centigrade or 400 Fahrenheit, Okay. middle shelf, and we'll have a flourless chocolate cake in about 12 minutes time. Fantastic, <laughs> brilliant. So Des, that cake, um, it smells ready. It is ready. It's had its 12 minutes. I'm okay. going to take it out now. Okay, cool. So I'll put the wrap there. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a damp kitchen cloth over it. Right. And that's just going to keep it nice and moist. Right. And we'll come back to it when it's cool. The cake seems to have cooled quite nicely. Okay. Right, what do you need? The cream, which okay. has already been whipped. Okay. So we've got a substantial amount of whipped cream here. Okay. You want one of these things? Yeah, a spatula. And you just want pour the totally on. massive one? Massive spatula. Okay. <laughs> we have the massive one. Okay, there we go. Right. Oh, wow. This is completely sort of rich and decadent and totally. scrummy, lick lipping. We're not worrying about calories here. Lick lipping. <laughs> what is lick lipping exactly? <laughs> Lip licking. <laughs> okay, there we go. All right, so we've got this really lovely silver platter here, which I can. It's a silver tray, actually. Okay, so we're pretty much ready to roll. So you're peeling back the, the wax paper. And how tightly are you rolling it, or not tightly at all? Not you're just kind tightly. of it's letting kind of just it. Just a gentle. Ooh. See, you were really lucky. You got a few bits of chocolate that didn't melt completely. But it looks fantastic. That's good. Okay. And I'm just going to very carefully lift the whole thing. Wow, says. Don't worry about little bits that might crack because we'll cover that up right. at the end. Oh, you're cracking open. You're looking so fantastic. <laughs> That's all right. Wow. Okay, so we'll just patch up our little edges. All right, okay. And then the trick to make it look all beautiful afterwards, <laughs> despite the cracks, <laughs> icing, sugar. Right. That looks absolutely spectacular. Oh.